Hey team, it's Jen here. I'm coming to you at the top of week five after we have finished our interesting readings on um, the romanticized Native American and also thinking about issues of romanticism in general. Week five hinges on that discussion and those considerations as we move into the transcendentalists. Now the transcendentalists and the romantics, they do have some things in common, yet they do have some really essential differences, which is what I'd like you to hone in on as you read Thoreau and Emerson for this week. Many of you have probably encountered either Emerson or uh, Thoreau, or perhaps both of them, throughout your journeys in academia because they're really kind of hallmarks of, uh, of American literature for reasons that I'm sure that you'll recognize as you start to read these really popular um, central canonical texts this week. There are quite a few readings that we have from both authors this week. Emerson and Thoreau are considered to be the fathers of transcendentalism. As you read their works this week, I want you to really hone in on what you find problematic about their writings. I think whenever we read Thoreau especially, it's really easy to get lost in all of the seemingly awesome things that he says about um, law and nature and society. Um, it ha he has a way of writing that engages a kind of romantic sensibility, but he's not a romantic. He's a transcendentalist. And as you read the works this week, um, especially with Thoreau, I'd like you to problematize, hone in on something from the reading of this week that to you doesn't seem quite right. Um, and in the meanwhile, you can also allow yourself to get a little bit lost in those romantic sensibilities that come along with the transcendentalists. Um, so don't forget about that pleasure. Here in week five as well, I will be reading and grading the essays that you submitted last week. And you can expect to receive comments on your essay um, directly in the gradebook. I will send out an email as usual when I have finished the grading of all of the essays. I do grade in the order in which they are received. And you will receive a uh, an end comment that will detail all of the things that you've done well in your essay and I'll also hone in on some things I'd like to see done better. Um, these comments will also include links to resources that can help you to grapple with some of the improvements that need to be made in your writing. I'm hoping that you will follow those links and you will watch the videos to which they're attached and that you'll um, take your growth as a writer in this course seriously. The videos only take a couple minutes to watch and they can really be pretty priceless, pretty invaluable when it comes to making small improvements that can help you to be a more successful academic along your journey. Um, this week in week five also you have a discussion board post and responses due and I want to remind you that the earlier you get your post up the more likely you are to garner the kind of responses and the kind of discussion that you want to have about these texts. We don't want to just do the minimum requirements um, in any facet of life but particularly in college because college is our chance to really engage and to extend um, our knowledge and our learning into new arenas that can be uncomfortable. There's something really great about that. So this week in the forums, I'd like you to remember the earlier you post, the more responses you'll garner and the more opportunity you'll have to engage in critical thinking. Also, it's important that you make at least the minimum of peer responses every week. That's two peer responses. I see many of you are making much more than that, and I really appreciate your efforts. Hope you guys have a great week, and I'll see you here next week.